I'm just a guy who loves Disney that has way too much time on his hands. If anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I'm here to rate, review, and describe all of your favorite things from the magical world of Disney. I'm Fawn Underwini and welcome to my Disney News and Reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Disney News and Reviews. I'm Fawn Underwini and uh, thanks to everybody who uh, came to the Q&A last night. I did try to record it but uh, due to some technical difficulties I didn't get the audio with it so it's three hours of a uh, Nothing. I said, well, you, I mean, you can see me. But I did do the giveaway, and I did um, announce the winner, and all the people that were at the uh, um, Q&A can verify that. Uh, Mr. Walker Chuck 1993, or Miss Walker Chuck 1993, I have no idea. Walker Chuck 1993 won the uh, Wreck-It Ralph uh, Blu-ray combo, and... Um, plush thing so uh, if you are watching this episode uh, definitely uh, please uh, message me and uh, I'll get all your information send that out to you as soon as possible get that uh, out for you but it was fun it was a good night um, uh, you know I got to talk to a bunch of people I did answer all the questions I might do another Q&A um, where I do answer all those questions again uh, you know just to kind of you know, give you guys what you wanted. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I'll do my best next time to try to get the uh, the audio stuff working. It's a it's a whole it's it's new territory for me. I'm not used to having doing live stuff and recording all that. So we'll just have to see what happens. But uh, thanks again to everybody that came out. I had a really good time. I hope you guys had a good time with it. Um, just been a crazy weekend here for me. And uh, man, I've been getting sick. You can probably hear it in my in my. Uh, in my nasal passages uh, this uh, this year has been pretty tough for me. I got bronchitis right now, so that's been tough. But uh, now I've been doing all right. So um, yeah, a lot of news this week, especially with the Animal Kingdom. And I want to be reviewing only one thing, but I wanted to go in depth with that review, so that should be fun. So uh, yeah, let's get right to the news. Tons of news coming out of the Animal Kingdom. In addition to the My Magic uh, Plus band testing, which has been happening for the past two days there, Disney has announced plans to mark the 15th anniversary of Disney's Animal Kingdom on Earth Day, April 22nd. Here's what you can expect. A special opening ceremony with speeches from uh, Josh Diarmo, uh, or Amaro, the uh, Vice President of Disney's Animal Kingdom, Dr. Jackie Ogden, Vice President of Animal Science and Environment, and Joe Rhodes, Senior Vice President of Walt Disney Imagineering Creative. Uh, there's going to also be an Earth Day Party for the Planet festivities, which will uh, feature special interactive activities that uh, focus on animal and nature and will take place throughout the park from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I do have a lozenge in my mouth, so... Uh, yeah, it's, it's keeping the coughing at bay. Artists and other vendors will present their work uh, on or in Africa and on Discovery Island. Uh, with their work available for purchase. Uh, you can all, you'll also have the opportunity to purchase special 15th anniversary merchandise and uh, there will be special food and beverages there as well. So that should be pretty cool, a pretty awesome event. Um, you know, they're doing it right for the uh, 15th anniversary so that should be fun. Awesome stuff. The new meet and greet attraction at Disney's Animal Kingdom is set to, looking, set to open in mid-May of 2013. Called Adventures Outpost, and the, the new location will give you a chance to meet Minnie and Mickey uh, in a new indoor environment. Around the same time, Daisy and Donald Duck will be moving uh, to the Discovery Island boat dock area to appear together. And making way for their arrival, uh, Winnie the Pooh characters will be moving to Camp Minnie Mickey's. To, you know, so, there you go. Nearly the complete left side of Africa in Disney's Animal Kingdom is now walled off as construction begins on uh, building the new festival, the Lion King Theater. The relocation of the theater from Cat Mini Mickey to Africa is part of the expansion plans for the Animal Kingdom, which so far have been based around the Avatar Project announcement. So they're getting stuff ready. Uh, it is expected that the show will continue to be performed in Cat Mini Mickey until the new theater is ready, minimizing any downtime for the popular show. So that should be pretty cool. 
Registration is now open for the 2014 Walt Disney World Marathon, which expands with a new race and promises improvements for runners across the event. Although the Walt Disney World 10K and the Disney uh, Family Fun Run 5K sold out in the first two days, um, the, dope, uh, the Dopey Challenge is almost full as well, so hurry up you know, you know, to get that. This year is limiting the number of entrants into the races uh, to allow for more space to run on the course. For more information on that entire weekend, follow the link below. Awesome stuff. And finally, Disney has just announced the next limited time magic event at Walt Disney World. And it's a treat for the fans of the fairies, the Disney fairies. According to WaltDisneyWorld.com, April 15th through April 21st, it's Fairies Week at Walt Disney World. And Tinkerbell is coming in for a landing. And wouldn't you know it, some uh, fellow Disney fairies are flying in for the occasion too. So head over to Tinkerbell's Magical Nook where Tink uh, will be joined by a few friends making a surprise up appearances. You can meet Id, uh, Iridessa, Rosetta, Silvermist, Fawn, and Vidya. Maybe even Terrence, the pixie dust keeper himself. So, uh, very cool stuff. Um, if you're into the, uh, the, the, the limited time magic, especially the, uh, the fairies, definitely check that out. Uh, so that's the news for this week. Let's get right to the reviews. Alright guys, the only thing I want to be reviewing today is this, Disney Quest. The reason why it's I'm only going to be reviewing it today is because Disney Quest holds so much that I'm going to try to go through the, you know, the majority of it to try to give you guys some information on what Disney Quest is and why it's so awesome. In case you've never heard of Disney Quest, it's five floors of an arcade with all kinds of interactivity um, and uh, different... Uh, interactive things that is really really awesome they call it the ultimate interactive adventure um, it's really really awesome uh, now this is located in the west side of downtown Disney and it's called an, inter an indoor interactive theme park and there's five floors of non-stop activities to do um, the way it works is you uh, you pay one flat fee and if you uh, bought the um, water park fun and more uh, on your base um, you know I'm uh, a Disney ticket this will get you in for free that's what we did excuse me that's what we did and uh, you enter on the first floor lobby and you magically take an elevator up to uh, the third floor which is where you start your adventure um, it's just really cool I want to give you a bunch of uh, in information before I start going into the different floors uh, now the, the reason why this even came about uh, this was pretty popular and uh, when it opened um, Disney decided this was going to be a way that they were going to be able to take the Disney name to places um, where it's hard for people to get to Disney World or Disneyland. Uh, you know, this is going to be like kind of like a uh, like a Disney Light, you know, version of it. So uh, they actually opened one. They were planning to open one in Toronto. I think there was one that was going to be open in um, Anaheim, um, but one did officially open in Chicago. Uh, they, you know, they opened it right there in the heart of Chicago, and uh, it closed in 2001 due to poor attendance. Not many people went there, um, and uh, ultimately Disney kind of said, you know what, let's not deal with all that. Um, I'm sure the 9/11 stuff had something to do with it because Disney was cutting back um, because tourism was pretty bad. Um, so they um, they closed that in 2001, and they wound up scrapping all the other different. Uh, you know, parks and ideas that they were going to uh, uh, do with this uh, Disney Quest name. Uh, but the only other Disney Quest that still remains open is the one in uh, downtown Disney. And it's really, really awesome and definitely gets some good foot traffic. Uh, now, everything in here is free or included with your um, uh, base admission, uh, you know, to Disney Quest. Except for food and the uh, prize play machines, you know, like claw machines and things like that. Everything else is free. You just... Hit the button and bam, you're out, ready to go. Originally, it wasn't like that. Originally, it was kind of like a Dave and Buster's, where you, you know, you had, um, you, you had to, you know, you paid a little bit to get in, and then you had to, uh, uh, you know, buy tokens and things on a card. But Disney decided to just be a lot easier, just to up the price, and uh, have everybody um, just play nonstop. It just was a lot easier that way, and it's awesome that way. It's really good. There are two quick service restaurants in here. One's on the fourth floor of the Wonderland Cafe, and that features desserts, drinks, and grab-and-go food items, quick stuff. Uh, I've heard rumors that there's even alcohol up there. I'm not sure. 
um, if that's there. I didn't notice it there when I went there last time, but then again, we didn't eat in there, so um, yeah. And then on the, the fifth floor, food is served at Food Quest, which offers burgers, chicken wraps, uh, sandwiches, pizza, and salads, all the good kind of hearty foods that, you know, real food, I guess you could say, not chips and stuff like that. Um, okay, so my idea here is to use this map, this awesome Disney Quest map, to go try, you know, kind of through all the different floors here to try to explain what each is. Now, I, I got some video and different things, so you're going to see, you know, video go in and out of certain uh, rides and areas. Um, I didn't do 100% of everything on here, so I'm just going to kind of either give you um, information on what they are, and if I've had personal experience with it, I'll give you, you know, a rating or something on that. Uh, so you start on on uh, on uh, the third floor. You start here, and then you can take the elevators going up and down, whatever, to try to get to uh, floor one or floor five, whatever you want. Um, when we first went up here to floor three, uh, it was just amazing. I mean, the sensory overload on this is awesome. Uh, when you go in here, there's actually a uh, uh, you got um it's called the one is called the underground arcade right around here and uh you it's basically just all the uh the later like to all the video games from the 90s to the now uh there's a lot of shooting games you know racing games different things like that base standard arcade games then you got the muddy ducks pinball slam uh that's kind of interesting because you actually have to hop on these um these movable areas, I didn't get on this, but I saw, watched people play it, and you uh, you have to shake and move and go up and down, left and right, to move your player to um, you know to get this uh, this uh, thing moving, and it's actually really fun. Uh, you got this uh, thing called the race zone, which is again all of uh, racing games and different things like that. The venture port, which is the central hub of everything, that's where you get the maps and uh, you can choose which uh, which area to go to. Uh, you got the uh, classic games. There are classic games scattered all throughout Disney Quest. Um, you know, kind of filling in the gaps and whatnot. Um, you know, uh, they have like, you know, Pac-Man and Galaga and all those other ones. I'll, I'll, I'll list them in a minute when we get up to the actual classic area, which is cool. Uh, then there's uh, Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blaster, which is hilarious. It's not to be confused with the Astro Blaster uh, in um, the... Uh, in the the Magic Kingdom over in Anaheim and Disneyland, um, this is really cool. I actually got on this. You actually can drive around and uh, shoot these little balls at uh, at people. It's like Nerf balls, and you can it's like a tank attack sort of thing. Um, these are like little go kart things, little tank uh, things, and you can actually shoot them, which is uh, shoot balls from this little cannon ahead of you, which is really awesome. Uh, I had a really good time with that. After that, we uh, believe we went uh, down. We decided to go down to floor one to try to see what was going on. So down on now on floor one, there are only like three things, um, or uh, two things, and uh, there's a souvenir stand in there too called the Disney Quest Emporium. That's where uh, all the uh, souvenirs are. There's also an ask where the exit is. Um, with the two main rides here. Um, my brother and I actually were waiting for the Pirates of the Caribbean. It's called the Pirates of the Caribbean Battle for Buccaneer Gold. But there was so many people in that line, uh, we decided to go uh, check out other, some other stuff. But what it basically is, is you uh, you and I think it's like uh, six other people or five other people or six people total. You are uh, you walk into these areas and uh, it's, a, it's a 3D thing. There's a... Um, or it's not a 3D thing, but there's like, you know, a video screen on the whole, on the wall around you and you man this cannon and your idea is to shoot, um, all these people, you, you know, you boost the high score and everything like that. Um, that's, you know, it's a pretty fun thing. The other one is the virtual jungle cruise, which you actually get into a inflatable raft and using a real paddle, you paddle down the, uh, the, you know, this virtual jungle cruise. It's a, um. Uh, ride the rapids in a prehistoric world and paddle to an adventure. So that's exactly what you do there. You uh, you go through and you see some different stuff. Um, there again, there was a ton of people down there for that. Um, those interactive rides are really, really popular because you get to do a whole bunch of stuff and it was great. Then we moved up to floor two. You got the guest gallery, which is where you can uh, uh, you know, purchase your own create zone creation, which is... Uh, the create zone is you actually make things and you can buy them. 
Uh, you got the Radio Disney Song Maker, which you can, you can create your own CD. You basically go in and lip sync, and uh, uh, you can uh, make your own CD, obviously. Uh, the Animation Academy. I saw this. I didn't. I didn't know what this was. It was a 30-minute class where you learn how to draw your your favorite Disney character. That's really fun. Um, Living Easels. Create your own Disney masterpiece. It's a digital thing where you can draw all kinds of stuff. Uh, Sid's Create a Toy. Uh, you can create your own twisted toy. You can. You actually can create your own toy and actually buy it, which is really weird. Um, I saw some people doing it. They actually came out pretty gnarly. Pretty cool stuff. You do have to pay extra for that. Uh, then you got this uh, Aladdin's Magic Carpet Ride, which is really interesting because a lot of the stuff in Disney Quest is all virtual reality stuff, where you actually have to put like a thing on your head to uh, to you know feel or experience this ride. So you you have this thing mounted on your head, and you get on this uh, this bike-looking contraption, and you fly through the streets of Agrabah, which is uh, pretty crazy. Uh, then you got Cyberspace Mountain, which is uh, you design a roller coaster of your dreams, and it's a roller coaster simulation thing, uh, and you can ride your own roller coaster, which is very, very fun. Now, we move up to my favorite floor, which is floor four. Uh, that's where I spent the most of my time. You got the Sports Arena Arcade, which is uh, a lot of sports uh, video games. Um, I didn't spend my time in there. I spent my time, um, oh no, I spent it on, on floor five, I'm sorry. Uh, then you got the Ride the Comics, which is uh, a very interesting um, thing. I'll get to that in a minute. And then you got the Kids Area, which is uh, games for uh, younger kids, uh, you know, ages 2 to 7. They have Ski Ball there, which is awesome. I love Ski Ball. If you don't know what Ski Ball is, go look it up on YouTube. Ski Ball, you roll the thing and you get points. I don't know. Now, Floor 5, this is where I spent you know, the, the majority of my time. Um, also on Floor 4 is the Wonderland Cafe, like I said. Floor 5, you got the uh, Invasion and Extraterrestrial Alien Encounter. If you ever want, if you ever re you know, remember the ride that took, um, that Stitch took the place of, it was the, uh, the Extraterrestrial Encounter. Uh, that was in the Magic Kingdom. It was a scary thing. Disney has not done away with it completely. They um, still have this uh, uh, game over here where you can experience this, and it's a completely immersive encounter where you, uh, it's almost a replica of the, um, the old ride, the attraction itself, uh, very very cool time. Uh, then you got the classic games um, area, which is literally all it is is classic games. Like, uh, let me try to. Uh, I have some written down here. You got things like Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man, Asteroids, Tron, Burger Time, Pango, Kangaroo, Berserk, Donkey Kong in all of its iterations. Joust, Robotron, 20, uh, 2084, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back. Marble Madness, Moon Patrol, Spy Hunter, Asteroids Deluxe, Centipede, Millipede, Cubert, Mystical Man, Frogger, uh, Mario Brothers, Dig Dug, Mr. Do, Gorf Galactic, uh, Galaga, and others. Yes, they have all of those there and free play, which is awesome. I was destroying my Galaga store, uh, score there. It was awesome. I love Galaga, by the way. And finally, we get to my favorite attraction here uh, in this place, the one that uh, my brother and I had uh, had some pretty fun on. It's called Ride the Comics. I mentioned this before. Basically, you battle supervillains as you fly through a virtual reality comic book world. Now, this was kind of cool. You could tell that when this was made back in the 90s, this was pretty, you know, crazy. Disney hasn't done any upgrades to this yet. It was de uh, Originally, Disney Quest was designed to be completely upgraded. Disney hasn't upgraded it yet, which I would love to see, you know. Especially some of these newer, bigger things. They would lo love to be upgraded. Um, but uh, Ride the Comics, basically you walk into this thing and you have to sit on this weird stool thing. You're given this uh, contraption to put over your head and you're given a wand, which is basically your sword. This is your, your virtual reality sword. And you have to defeat all of these... Um, these demons and aliens as you travel through this comic book world and the graphics in it you I, I, I don't I don't have it here because it was all virtual reality um, look like old 90s virtual reality stuff I'm not sure if you can uh, envision what it would look like in your head but it's old CG really old virtual reality really cheap virtual reality it's not like um, the graphics are on uh, you know the Xbox 360 or whatever but uh, it was just something to be you know crazy and uh, it was re actually really, really fun. And uh, Nathan and I both had a great time. Although, this, getting this thing on my gargantuan head was uh, pretty interesting. And it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, let me tell you. But they do clean the uh, the pads where you um, 
you know where you you know all, all the things that touch your actual head they they make sure they clean them and you have to get a fresh one each time uh which is really cool so i think that's really neat disney touch and uh, you know doing, doing that special touch and um but that is pretty much disney quest it is so much fun five floors of all kinds of fun now um you know with all that, like you know, like I said, that might not sound like a whole lot, but I'm telling you, with all the amounts of video games that they have in there, with all the new ones, the you know, like the um, the air hockey and things like that, they oh, they have all of that there. Um, I just gave you the highlights of it, and uh, let me tell you, it was so much fun, and we had a great time. I would love to go back and dedicate you know three or four hours to it, just so I can you know videotape everything. But um, I hope you know you guys got a good idea of what. Um, of what you know Disney Quest is all about uh, so what am I going to give Disney Quest located on the west side in downtown Disney um, I'm going to give this five big stars each I re really recommend you go to Disney Quest almost every time you go uh, if you can dedicate some time to this it's totally worth it um, if you can't definitely go see it you know the, you know the next time um, because it's just so much fun it's just a, it's a great place for kids to run around and let loose have a good time um, you know, it's all enclosed, so this, you, know, you know, the kids can't get lost. Um, you know, there's cast members everywhere. Um, it's just a really, really, really cool um, little place. And um, I totally recommend that people, excuse me, go and see it. It's really, really fun. And uh, so, yeah, Disney Quest at uh, in the west side of downtown Disney, five stars. Check it out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this week's Disney News and Reviews. Again, congratulations to... Uh, Walker Chuck 1993 for winning the Wreck It Ralph Blu-ray DVD combo. Definitely, uh, you know, you know, shoot me a message or something, and I'll uh, get your information. And we can, you know, you know, you know, get that sent out to you. Um, yeah, and thanks to everybody who came to the Q&A. That was really awesome. If you couldn't make it and you sent me questions, I will do another video sometime later in the month where I answer those questions for you, so you can uh, kind of. You know, understand. I'm, I apologize. I wanted to r record it and do you know, like a Q&A and all that for it, but um, unfortunately, technical difficulties uh, happened. Um, so all, the, the only people that got to experience it were the people that came live. So all the more reason to come live next time. I will be doing another Q&A eventually, another giveaway soon, and all that stuff. So uh, you know, don't worry about that. You'll get another chance to chat with File 91E. Uh, yeah, so if anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I want people to go down to Disney Quest and have a great time and enjoy it and just, you know, have fun in there. It's so cool. Uh, and if you are going to Disney World, be sure to go to allyours.net, touringplans.com, wdwmatch.com for all your latest and greatest Disney news. WaltDisneyWorld.com is good too. They got straight from, horse, straight from the horse's mouth stuff. You can't go wrong with that. Also, buy this book if you're going down to Disney World. This is one of my favorite uh, books to uh, to help me, you know, get ready for my Disney vacation. It's the unofficial guide to Walt Disney World. This is the 2013 edition. Get the most recent up-to-date edition uh, for you if you're watching this in 2015. For whatever reason, get the 2015 version. Uh, they have all the up-to-date information. And go to all those other uh, good places uh, for all the other information that you ever might need. And uh, Or just shoot me a comment. I really don't care i'll definitely try love to help you out with that uh so yeah congratulations uh it's all the people and um to, to, to the winner of the wreck it ralph thing i had a great time last night uh so yeah i'll see you guys next week for another disney news and reviews bye guys <laughs>